What's up, Patriots? I'm back. It's yours, Julie Crawford. And I'm Lucero. And we're here to bring you your one and only Heritage High Student News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice hair, Crawford. Nice hair. All right, to start us off, we have Study Hall Club Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 310 to 610, and on Wednesday, 130 to 430 in room L124. All right, guys, you know you have A+. Plus. You've had it for quite a while, I'm assuming. Tuesdays and Thursdays in room W106, you can finally get all those midterms and finals done with an A-plus teacher. I'd rather get it done ASAP than later on. We have Gamers Club Monday and Friday from 3.30 to 4.45, and on Wednesday, 1.45 to 3 in L126, and they have all sorts of consoles. Whoa, while we're speaking of all sorts of things, we have our very own music club. They have various assorted instruments. You can learn how to play. You can play something. You can teach somebody. You can just jam out every Wednesday and Friday. Wednesdays, that's 1.45 to 3 o'clock. And on Fridays, 3.30 to 4.45, all in W128. All right, if you're a senior and you want to go to college, get your FAFSA done now or before March 2nd because that is when it's due. Well, uh, this doesn't exactly have to pertain to seniors because I'm pretty sure everybody loves donuts. Drama Club is still selling donuts every Wednesday after school, outside the theater, and all around campus. Just one dollar, and you can support your Drama Club. Hey Crawford, what time is it right now? Half past ten. Nope, I believe- wait, what? <laughs> I- well, that completely ruined the joke. Oh, well, Battle of the Cars Club, Tuesdays and Thursday, from 3.30 to 4.45 in room L126. Oh, well, um, every Friday, the Black Student Union is having meetings in L208 and L216. And I know you want to go out there and show some love. I know you do. <laughs> College and Career Club is Wednesday, 3.15 to 4.30 in the Career Center. You guys know where it's at. And while we're on the subject of colleges and careers, that Play-Doh thing that's kind of taken over A+, yeah, that's going to be Tuesdays and Thursdays after school and room W106. Ms. Schrott will be there for two hours just to help you get through that Play-Doh. Marine Biology Club is Mondays and Thursdays after school in W128. Oh, we have a do-it-yourself crafts club. I know you want to make fancy stuff. I know you like messing with your hands. Join it, man. 3.30 to 4.45, Mondays and Fridays in L116. <clears throat> Alright, if you guys ever played Nintendo 64, you guys are familiar with this game. It's Smash Brothers. And we're having a Smash Brothers tournament March 4th. Go to room R150 for permission slips and get more info. And we're playing against Takowitz, so let's do good. Oh man, I remember Smash Bros. Melee. That was <laughs> insane. Now, before we leave you all just to sit there in your seats and learn some stuff, we have a quote and a student thought of the day. So first off, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see a shadow from Helen Keller. And from one of our very own students, don't worry about what other people think about you. What you think about yourself is all that matters. What everybody else says is just their opinion. Be you and only you. You want to sign out? Or can I take this pleasure? You can do it. Oh, all right, guys. I am Crazy DJ Craw. DJ Crazy Craw, that one. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just a normal Lucero. And we're mixing it out. We'll catch you later, Patriots. Have a great day. Hello, Miss Marie Antoinette. Today I'm here to interview you about Black History Month. Um, let's start off with, t why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, there's so much to tell about me and what I do. But for the record, since I'm here at Heritage High, is that I'm actually a concert harpist, classically trained. I went to school and studied harp performance. And from there, then I went to play in the symphony in Los Angeles as principal harpist with the Southeast Symphony Orchestra. And uh, then I took that skill set and moved it into smooth jazz and R&B uh, music, kind of funk, right. and you know, the whole time I was, you know, playing this beautiful classical music. I wanted to take it. I was like, I want to play music that I grew up with, you know, right. and uh, the R and B music, funky. How do I make it sexy? How do I make it? 
but people can dance to my music. So it took a little bit of a while and I got with a wonderful producer who taught me how to take my classical training skills and move it into R&B, smooth jazz, funk. So what interests what interest you into playing the harp? Uh, what was your main drive? Well, you know, I was introduced to the harp in middle school and every year the teacher that I had, uh, they had a music month where they brought in all these different instruments from the orchestra. And so one week the harp came in from the symphony and the harpist demonstrated the harp. And as soon as I saw the harp and heard the sound, I knew instantly that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to play. So that has been my driving force of excellence and to study and practice and do what is necessary to achieve the goals that I wanted to do. And then I went off to school to major in music and major in harp performance. So what do you usually do to celebrate Black History Month? Well, for one, what I'm doing with you guys right now. Um, I do a lot of performances mm -hmm. and concerts, but I always like to participate and go to the shows too and the plays and to theaters because there's so much going on during Black History Month. And so right. a lot of lecturers, a lot of speakers, professors that bring in uh, true knowledge of our history. What is the significance of Black History Month to you? Well, it's huge. It's really huge. Uh, I'm saddened that it's only 28 days, but we'll take that. But, you know, when you think about planet Earth and where we are, this planet is 4.6 billion years old. Right. And to know that the very first people on the planet were African people, ancient African people, that is you and I. That is my DNA. That's where we come from. Because a lot of times during Black History Month, and particularly, mostly all the schools, they only focus on slavery. They never go back beyond that. And that's where the true history is of who we are as a people and what we've accomplished. Because when you think about it, you think about the Great Pyramid, you think about Imhotep, who was the first mathematician scientist out of ancient Africa who built the first step pyramid. And then you go on and you do our first writings from Ethiopia, um, religion, our value system, all came out of Africa. So it's sort of a shame that in teaching uh, African or black history, you only go to a certain point. Right. So I encourage everyone to pick up books by Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Ben, and other um, scholars who have done their homework and have gone back and uh, have put books out to tell us who we really are. So you're participating in the Black History Month celebration, right? Yes. What, do you, what part do you play in this cultural celebration? Well, I am performing on stage. I will have two harps. I will be featuring my portable electric harp which is new technology, it straps around my waist and I walk and play it with the wireless and then I will bring my concert grand harp that I play in the symphony. Do you know any interesting facts about how Black History Month started? Right, Carter G. Woodson, we spoke about that earlier and he talked about you know, how he started the week, you know, uh, Black History Month week and then it kind of on another week to now lobbying that you know, across the nation that we have a full-blown Black History Month in this country. Right. Is there anything you would like to add before we end this interview today? Hmm, just to know that I think uh, for Black History Month that we are great people and that uh, I encourage all of those who are scholars and would like more knowledge and more information to pick up books by Dr. John Henry Clark, Dr. Ben, um, Cardi G. Wilson, all those that have gone to school and have studied and did their research. There's a plethora of information out there. And I would encourage those teachers who teach black history to do their homework and to research and go back. Just don't go to slavery. We have a history that is far beyond that. And uh, like I say, the planet is 4.6 billion years old and we're a part of that. Right. So just don't take uh, 500 years and just focus on that. Let's focus on the real history. Well, thank you for coming out today to okay. do this interview. Okay. I'm Joshua Morgan, and I'll be back next time with an interview with Corey Jackson. Thank you. Hello, Heritage. I'm Joshua Morgan. Today I'll be back with more information about important figures of Black History Month. Today I'll be talking about Alexander Miles. He invented triggers for elevator doors so that when passengers entered or exited the elevators, doors would close behind and would not be left open. Before he created this trigger, passengers had to manually close doors, and if a passenger forgot to close the door, the possibility about another passenger falling down the elevator shaft was high. That's all for today. I'm Josh Morgan, and I'll be back next time with interviews of Ms. Marie Antoinette and Corey Jackson. Have a good day.